Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. On September 12th, the Amargosa Town Board received an update on emergency preparations for the impact of the Storm Area 51 event to the community. The result of the preparations began on September 18th and will continue through September 22nd. Uh, just give you an update where the fire department is as far as what's this Storm 51 or alien event that's coming up next week. Uh, Tuesday night, I had a meeting with all the volunteers to lay out what our operation will be next week. And our operation basically will determine how many people show up. That continues to be the unknown throughout this this whole thing as far as the impact or whatever of, of people coming here. And until we actually see that start to build up or that actually happen, that's when we'll uh, gear up and start running our department the way we're going to. Um, I'll be out here Tuesday afternoon. I plan on being in town through Sunday. John Koenig spoke at the meeting stating that he signed the memorandum of understanding with Las Vegas Metro in case we end up needing Vegas cops as well. Rich Flanagan speaks about the multiple agencies and the big unknown being just how many people will actually show up. There's different events going on here and there. We don't know how it's going to affect each little area. And when we began with this, Amargosa was one area that they were closely looking at. So again, until next week rolls around, around that Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, then we'll have a better idea of what's going on. But the fire department is always on call 24 hours a day, but we're gonna do things a little bit different. When I get out here Tuesday afternoon, I'll notify who I have to notify. And department will stand up from Tuesday through Sunday. Karen Brown spoke up at the meeting as well, advising to the public that if you are not attending the festivities, to get gas, food, ice, and water at your home. And if you can, stay home. But if you are out and about, just make sure you're doing everything before the crowds come in. We've already had a problem with our own gas station getting so full, where it takes almost 20 minutes just to get gas for locals. And if it's already that full now, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when people are passing through here. Rich Flanagan speaks about the recovery process after the events. He recapped what Carmen Brown spoke about, but also added to get supplies for the following week also, especially those who need medication. Carmen Brown makes a closing statement for the meeting. We have no idea how many people are actually going to be partying right here in Amargosa. As of now, there are no festival permits out there for Amargosa. And as far as I know, it's Crystal as well. So we know that people aren't coming here from out of town at three to 10,000 people at a time. So we're just trying to keep everyone that lives here in Amargosa safe with food, water, medicine, and gas at your home, and just making sure you guys have everything you need and you're not invaded as well.